thought I'd make a quick video showing my data backup solution. I bought two of these Seagate one terabyte hard drive. Terabyte, not gigabyte. I said gigabyte twice in the last video because I never get to say terabyte. But uh, yes, these are two. One of them here, the other one's right here working away. Two Seagate Barracuda model ST1000DM003 one terabyte SATA hard drive. These are SATA 3 hard drives. And uh, Seagate's been making this particular line of drives for a long time. Um, this drive as well as it, all its sister models which go from 250 gigabytes to 4 terabytes. Uh, they've been in constant manufacture since 2011 I think. So these have been around quite a long time. So yes, I bought two of these on Newegg.ca. They were $60 each, and you can still buy these on Newegg.ca. And uh, they're still very cheap. Uh, on the Canadian uh, site, they're $65 each right now. Probably cheaper on the American site. And uh, I bought these because these are the cheapest one terabyte hard drives that were offered. I wanted to go bigger, I wanted to go at least two terabytes, but the thing is, last Christmas, if I went two terabytes, I would not be able to buy my amateur radio transceiver. So I decided to go with one terabyte, uh, hopefully that lasts me uh, a long time, uh, hopefully that's enough space to last me a long time. Uh, whenever these inevitably uh, run out some years down the road, I'll probably go all out and probably get four terabyte hard drives. So yes, these are quite cheap basic drives. Um, I, fi I find Seagate's line of hard drives has very much simplified uh, in the past uh, few years. They used to have like their uh, metalist drives, which were cheap drives for desktops, and then they had the Barracuda drives, which were uh, uh, high-end desktop drives, and then I think they had one other line of drives besides that, and then they had a whole you know two or three set of lines for professional use but they're very simplified now the Barracuda is their only consumer desktop drive now and I think they have one line of desktop drives for uh, professional use and then they have one line of drives which are the hybrid drives mechanical drives that have a subset of uh, 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 solid state storage on them so yes uh, as far as I can tell these drives are very fine um, all the members of this drive, except for the three terabyte models, uh, have very good reviews. For whatever reason, the three terabyte units, I think it's the unit, the three terabyte unit from this line and not from another line, uh, they have very poor reliability, which is interesting, but all the other ones are fine. Uh, but yeah, uh, I tested both of these drives when they arrived. Um, I, put, I formatted them, gave them a full NTFS format and I gave each of them a full run through spin right and both of these have zero, se uh, zero bad sectors which is good. Uh, I ordered these in November of 2015 the data manufacturer on them is uh... well it was on here I forget where it went but uh... August 2015 is... oh there it is right there data manufacturer 08 2015 so these drives were only a few months old when I ordered them which is good that's uh, what would be expected I've written a number on here this is backup 2 and that's the identifier in Windows that it's named by I currently have backup 1 running in here I've got to write some uh, new data to it and uh, yeah these drives seem to be just fine um, they're very quiet by my standards anyway you can't hear them running at all and it, the uh, head seeking sound is quite subtle to my ears anyway and uh, they seem to run quite cool um, I'd reach around, well yeah I can reach around yeah it's just lukewarm so these are quite cool running drives I believe these are 7200 RPM drives um, from what I've read these aren't the fastest drives you can get but they're not particularly slow either I don't care how fast they are because I only use these for uh, for backup storage so there's my uh, data backup solution, and uh, thought I'd just show you guys that. I gotta write some data to this drive. Uh, how I do that is the data's on my laptop. I connect my laptop directly to this computer through Ethernet, and uh, they can see each other on the Ethernet network. I turn Wi-Fi off on both machines so Wi-Fi doesn't. Uh, I I, I notice quite a 
like two or three years ago when I first learned to start transferring data from computer to computer over uh, Ethernet. I suppose yeah, time flies fast. I guess it'd probably be five or six years ago now. But I noticed that if one or both computers have Wi-Fi on them and you connect them over Ethernet, um, connecting them over Ethernet will allow them to see each other, whereas they wouldn't over Wi-Fi. But when you actually do the data transfer, it happens over Wi-Fi, which is really funny. So yeah, I, I turn Wi-Fi off both of these so that it actually uses the Ethernet connection. Turns out this computer only has 100 megabit Ethernet, not gigabit, which is too bad because that makes the transfer relatively slow. Transfer, transfer speed's about 10, 11 megabytes per second. If it was gigabit, it would be possibly 10 times that. So it's a couple of hours to write, you know, 60, 70 gigabytes of data. But, uh, oh well. It's a lot faster than, uh, it's a lot fast compared to how I used to transfer data from computer to computer by uh, writing it to a DVD and then sticking a DVD in the other computer to transfer data from one computer to the other. So just thought I'd show you uh, show you my solution here. When I'm not writing, when I'm not backing up any data, uh, well this drive, I still have the original box that they shipped in from Newegg along with the original bubble pack that the drives can fit inside like a sleeve. So whatever drive's not currently in the computer, I usually just store it in the sleeve and keep it in the box. And uh, I'll keep one drive in the computer just to save having to remove it. If I'm not writing data, I'll just uh, unplug the uh, cables so that the drive's not running when I'm using the computer just to save wear and tear on it. I would like to keep both of these drives just in this computer, but there's uh, no room uh, for that. Um, the only way I'd get room is if I bought a five and a quarter inch to three and a half inch adapter to put in that free uh, drive bay there. But those adapters are quite a bit of money. I think they're 15, 20 bucks. So not worth it in my mind. So there you go. Just thought I'd uh, show you the drives and show you my data backup setup.